Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are discussing creation of a new action in Flow Designer. Generally, when we create any flow, we have the option to add actions. And these actions most of the times are out of box action which are provided by ServiceNow. But do you know you can create your own action? Yes, in this flow, I am using a custom action which I have created. Okay, so you can also create your own action and use it. Uh, let's create one action uh, test uh, application let's go to global submit so you see here whenever you create a new action you have three options input error evaluation and then output so you have the option to add input variables here okay like this you can create n number of variables and then you have the option to do some processing Obviously when you have some function you get the input then you process it within the body of that function So that processing will be done by here at a new step click on it. You have all such options available Okay, all the utilities are also there integration is also possible So based on your requirement add the processing step n number of times whatever you want and then you have the option to evaluate error Okay, and then finally the output so let me explain the action which I have created here. So I am taking the input with the name of server CI. Okay. It is, you know, it is a type and it is referencing to the Linux server table. I am making it mandatory. Okay. Then I have two processing step. The very first one is create record. This is on table incident and I am just basically creating an incident here. Okay where the caller is action owned by action means the server ci here the value which is coming okay so i am using the owned by value of that server ci here as a caller owned by here okay so the same i am using here and then i am adding the short description that is missing ci the name of the ci the name of the server ci and finally if the step fails don't stop the action go to the next one okay so if you get any error in this it will not stop it will go to the next one and the next one is create task step so deliberately in this second step i am doing basically nothing okay so when i'm doing nothing it will send some error okay it will generate some error and then if the step fails stop the action and go to the error evolution and i have added two if conditions you can add n number of condition like this okay let me show you one of the conditions edit it the name of the condition is if creation fail that is the very first step okay and i am getting the code of that step from here this is create record step right step status if you remember in last video we have discussed action status but here we have to use step status because because we are processing it within the action so here two options are available so if the code is one that is there is some error then what i am doing i am setting the status message to failed incident ticket okay in the same way if second step fails i am setting the action status message to incident task creation failed okay so so we are doing it according to both the steps okay if any of the step fails we have to evaluate the error and go to the error so you see here this is my trigger basically if the sub status changes to stolen okay this is the trigger condition and then i have added the action which i have created the custom action and whenever we get any error it will come here you already know what is error handler how to use it if you don't know please watch my last video where i have explained error handler in a very beautiful manner so in the action if any of the step gets some error it will generate the log like this okay so you remember where we actually get the error in the second step where we are doing nothing okay so now let's test this let's test it let me select one of the server run test so the test is completed let's go to the execution details you see here it is completed and it is completed with error and the error is caught you very well know where the error got generated it is generated in the action second part where we have not uh, configured anything right 
so in the very first log where we have created the incident there is no issue but in the second log you see it is completed and it is executed so let me open this you see here incident task creation failed that is the second option in the action so basically in this whole video we have discussed how to create your own custom action and how to use it in your flow i hope you got it if you have any question let us know in the comment section thank you so much bye bye